Good morning, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy, Rosie, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. All right, family, coming to you this morning with a really simple Hot Logic meal. This one is three steps, and you're done. It's done. All right, family, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, YouTube family. I'm at work. My 8.30 break. I only got about 10 minutes. Y'all know I'm a rule follower, so I can't break any rules. I'm that guy. All right, family. Three really simple ingredients. Well, first of all, the star of the show, Polish sausage, fajita mix. I think that's true. Yeah. Fajita mix. Really simple. You can get this at any of your box stores, Walmart, your local uh, supermarket, wherever. Pepper Jack cheese. Now, with the Pepper Jack cheese, this is going into Hot Logic at 8.30. At 11, between 11 and 11.30, whenever I decide to go to lunch, I'm coming back out. I'll most likely put the Pepper Jack cheese on then and only give it about 10 or 15 minutes to melt in. Whenever I reach my location at lunch, wherever I decide to eat, whether it be here in the parking lot, Lowe's parking lot, or Civic Center, wherever, then I'll, it'll be ready, about 15 minutes. So what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna open our Polish sausage, and whatever container you decide to use, whether it be a uh, ceramic dish of sorts or whatever, we're going to take this. I should put down some paper towel. We're going to go ahead and put this uh, pepper jack cheese to the side for now. We're going to put it back in our apple cool refrigerator. And I got to do another video on the apple cool refrigerator. One of our, my, uh, I guess he's a subscriber. He mentioned that his Apple Cool Refrigerator finally uh, conked out on him after several years. And this one is still going strong. So we're going to do a review on our Apple Cool Refrigerator. Now, if y'all can see that, we're simply going to cut this into three slices. This one has the curve in it, so we're going to try to cut some of that curve out. Matter of fact, let's make it four. Four slices. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this sausage... And I found that since the Hot Logic only cooks at 165 degrees, if you split the sausage, not all the way through, about three quarters of the way, and then we crack it open like so, this curve is gonna be a little more difficult. We can make it do what it do. I kind of cut it at an angle. Let me cut that quite deep enough, that's what she said. Take that, open it up like so. Boom. Boom. All right. Now I find that that is the perfect length to fit in one of those silver containers. Boom. Sideways. Look at that. Perfect length. Boom. Boom. Perfect size for three of those. So we're going to take this fajita mix. Bell peppers, onions, tomatoes. Let's pour off. You know what? Let's leave the juice. That's going to be real good. Let's go ahead and put that on top. We're going to level that out. Boom. Boom. Go ahead and put one of our paper tops back on. And I don't know if y'all seen, if you're a new viewer, that might confuse you a little bit with these paper tops, but they actually have aluminum coating on top and they're built to take this heat. So that's not just for packaging. Those tops are actually for cooking and they work. 
I go ahead and reseal that. I already got the hot logic on. I learned from my previous videos. Go ahead and get that hot logic piping hot and get it going. We're gonna go ahead. Let me sit y'all over here. Let's go ahead and pull that hot logic out. Boom, there she is. We're also gonna do a separate video on this hot logic and this packaging, the uh, uh, cover, the aluminum fall in here, and this is not the original Hot Logic video, I mean Hot Logic uh, uh, bag. If y'all been with me for a while, you know that I changed this out for a cheaper uh, brand of uh, portable oven that I had, but that portable oven itself, the hot plate was garbage, didn't work, but the bag was awesome. So I swapped it out. This bag is starting to break down now. So we're gonna do a separate video on that. But I have a I know why it's breaking down, and I was somewhat responsible for that. And we're gonna do a separate video on that. All right, we're gonna simply put that in the hot logic, set it and forget it. Go ahead and zip her up. Slide that drawer back in. Booyah! Let us do its thing. So right now, like I said, it's about 840. About time for me to get back inside. So we're looking at 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, about three hours. That should be piping hot at 165 degrees. Those onions, they're not gonna caramelize or anything, but they're gonna be nice and and soft. The bell peppers, the tomatoes, and that sausage should be done. We're gonna take that cheese and sprinkle on top. And oh, and about 15 minutes later, we're gonna have ourselves a nice little lunch slash snack snatch brunch uh, uh slash brunch and now we're going to take these sausages and we're going to get some eggs and we're going to make ourselves a breakfast all right family y'all stay tuned for me three hours for y'all three seconds we'll be back for the end result all right family appreciate y'all see you soon all right fam here we are i went to the dollar tree Dollar Tree did, that particular Dollar Tree did not have my favorite drink. So I got my second favorite drink, which is a uh, Mountain Dew Kick uh, Start. And this is a great flavor. Never mind that. Here's what we're here for. Oh, yeah. All right, fam. Ooh, and I love, love, love what my neighbor built me. Now I got two tables, the table here and the table here. And I can eat like a king. Ooh, woo. There we go, family. Should I bring, I'm bringing y'all to it. Let's do that. There it is, fam. There it is, fam. Boom. Doesn't that look lovely? Doesn't she look lovely? Let me square that up for y'all. Boom, focus, focus. Boom, there it is, fam. Beautiful. All right, family. Now, before I eat, let me give you a quick explanation. This meal is probably something you won't find on YouTube because it's not conventional. It's sausage, fajita mix with pepper jack cheese. Anyway. The reason I do that, this is unconventional. It's something that I came up with because I like sausage. I like fajita mix and I like pepper jack. I love pepper jack cheese. The reason I do that is no one on YouTube or anywhere else can really can say that I stole their recipe because this is mine. Something that I came up with, things I like. On the other hand, nobody wants to steal my simple one-off recipes. They're simple, they're quick, they're kind of made for the hot logic. That's the direction I'm going in. All right, family, I got about 10 or 15 minutes left on my lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and take, matter of fact, while I talk to y'all, we're gonna go ahead and sample this. Ooh, that sausage is tender. That sausage is literally falling apart, y'all. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> Could use a little bit of salt, a little bit more salt. But other than that, cost the the bell pepper bitterness 
it's kind of overwhelming the salt or the flavoring, the seasoning. Just a little bit more salt would have been perfect. But family, the reason we do these videos, they're not planned out. These are things that I come up with in my head. Some I've done before, some I haven't. But I just want to keep us in the rhythm, keep these hot logic videos. We want to go places that no one else has gone before. All right, family, we're going to go ahead and bring this one in for a landing. If you've enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Give your boy a thumbs up. Help out with the old algorithm. Algorithm. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that. All right, family. Y'all, I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.